All right, guys, the final part. I'll talk for a good uh, 30 minutes. Or I might talk for maybe 10, 15 minutes. I'm tired today. I don't feel like making a full video today, guys. I might maybe talk for maybe 15 minutes and shut this camera up here. So today I'll make a shorter video. I'm tired today. I don't know if I can talk for another 30 minutes. I'll take my shower, I'll go to the store and get my beer and smokes. Get my beer and smokes, obviously. Get my beer and smokes, obviously. Yes, yeah, so I thought it'd be cool to talk about how my Skyscraper company will be better, how much better my Skyscraper company will be than Hollywood. Yeah, it'll be top notch, man. The company will be top notch. Top notch company. So crazy, everyone around the world will want to work for me, obviously. But I told you, CS people are out. Because I'm not hiring CS people, obviously. If I have CS people apply to my company, I'm gonna, me and Vijay have to look, my, my team have to look at like 10, I'm gonna have to look at something crazy like 5,000, like my team doesn't have time to look at all those resumes. Hence why to, to, to make it, to make it easy for your team, I'm not gonna have my team look at resumes because it's just too much work for my team. They don't have time to do all that. Hence why for, for my movie, I'll just put out an ad, I need the crewman who worked on Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit to work on, on Zanus. And they'll all, they'll, they'll all, they'll all find the ad, and they'll, they'll all, they'll, 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 they'll all sign up. Obviously, it's easier that way. For the greatest hip, I need people who worked on John Wick and, and James Bond, and they all sign up. For their unique, I need the people who worked on Twilight. And they all sign up. Yeah, that way it's easier. I, I, my team doesn't have to look at resumes because my team does not have time to look at all these resumes. Just put an ad to the news and hall. We need, we need, we need, we need people. Yeah, and for the seventh team, I'm only hiring Hollywood team. I'm only hiring a Hollywood team for my 17. If I put out, if I allow C-list secretaries and C-list accountants, C-list lawyers, I'm going to, me and Vijay are going to have to look at like three, four, five, ten, fifteen, fifty. 15, 50, I don't know, 100,000 resumes, something crazy. I don't have time to look at 5,000 resumes. No, narrow it down to the Hollywood companies and narrow it down to the big five companies. That way me and Vijay only look at maybe 300, 400, 500 resumes. 400 resumes, me and Vijay can look at all that. We can easily look at 10 resumes a day. In a good month, we'll be done. About a month, we'll be done. Whereas if you have 5,000 resumes, it's too much. I don't have time to look at all that. So I'm saying, that's why you narrow it down to the Hollywood team for the 17th policy. Hire experienced secretaries who have who, who worked for the big five companies. That way they know what they're doing. Hire an, a, a lawyer who, who, who has experience with, who was a lawyer in the Hollywood system, obviously, the big five companies. Hire an accountant who handled money for big budget movies. He worked for the big five companies, yes. That way he knows what he's doing. Hire a head of production who creates schedules for the movies in Hollywood. Who worked for the big five companies. That way he knows what he's doing, obviously. And hire script developers who are, who are producing experience, writing experience, um, directing experience, yeah. But do, the, 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 script, the script developer has to at least have producing experience and like screenwriting experience or at least producing or exact producing experience, right? At least that has some of that experience, obviously. And you have to work for the big five companies, a Hollywood team. That way you get that way, that way, that way you get what you, they know what they're doing. As Sula secretary, and I would not pay a million dollars. A Sula secretary, I'd pay her like her one fifty two hundred thousand dollars salary. They're not worth any more than that. But most people would gladly work for my country for two hundred thousand dollars. A lot of money. If you make two hundred k, you're rich. That's a good paycheck, obviously. But in Vancouver, if you make two hundred k, like you. you it's, it's, it'll, be, it'll be a bit tough for you because Vancouver is an expensive city, man. Like the houses there are all like 500,000 plus dollar houses or expensive houses. The house I'm living in here in Elmer is like worth, it's like a $500,000 house in Vancouver. It's expensive Vancouver. You have to be rich to live there. Zara. It's an expensive city. It's an expensive city, obviously. It's an expensive city. 
Whereas if you pay the Sacramento a million dollars, they can eat, they can now buy themselves a nice bonus. They can now buy themselves a nice multi million dollar house, a two million dollar house they can buy, two point five two million dollar house they can build. They can put a nice down payment on it. Two million dollar house you only have to put a one hundred thousand dollar down payment on it. You only have to put a five percent down payment for a house. So one hundred thousand dollars you can buy your two million dollar house. And you give them a nice piece of the royalties. That way they uh, 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 uh the royalties. That way they. They 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 they're not angry. There's nothing worse than you and VJ making out when you make your forty billion bucks off your movie and your merch, and your secretaries only making a million dollars. They don't get a piece of that. No, give them a nice their, their team, with a boss or company. They give them a nice piece a nice piece of profits, a nice five point five million dollars. The way they're happy, you keep them happy. They walk. They have a couple million dollars in the bank. They can get their Ferrari, their Lamborghini now. They can even pay their house off, which they most likely won't. They can do good things with that money. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 you know what I'm saying? And the other guys pay them less eleven eleven million dollars, right? Which is like what eleven million dollars after taxes is what is like six point I don't know. It's like six point nine million after taxes. Whatever six point eight million after taxes. Yeah, it's a fat check. Obviously, pay John his one hundred million. Pay Davis thirty eight thirty seven million dollars. Oh, they all they're all happy. Everyone benefited obviously. Even though maybe you're making way more than them, don't hate us. I'm saying. They benefited because they, 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 they made a lot of money. Everyone's taking care of my... I took care of my team. Everyone on my team are all taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Everyone on my team, they're all taken care of. They're all taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Will your team resent you a little bit, Ivan? Yeah, they might resent me a little bit because I'm making way more than them, obviously. Because I gave them a piece of profits, they will not be angry. They'll, they'll be happy. That's exact Ivan, you're very generous. Yeah, I, I gave you eleven million dollars of profits. That's like almost seven million dollars in your bank after taxes. And the second is I gave you five point five, which is like three what? Three point three million after taxes around there. It's a lot of money. And now with this with these royalties, you can afford to get your Ferrari and your Lamborghini. You get your nice like three hundred thousand dollar Lamborghini and Ferrari. Yeah, your nice Porsche. Yeah, I gave you a good deal. John Favreau can now afford to get his own jet. Well, John can afford to get his jet right now. He's worth a hundred million dollars. He's rich, but because he made his one hundred million dollars for the royalties, he can now afford to get his own jet. His nice eighteen million dollar jet he can buy for him and his family. He can go. He can go fly probably to, to, to all these countries now. Yeah, or whoever I hire, right? They, they, they all they all they all can live a great. They all they all can live that dream life in Vancouver. Obviously, my seven team are going to live the celeb life with me and Vijay. They're going to live the dream celeb life. With me and Vijay, my seventeen will live. We're gonna live that amazing life. With me and Vijay, obviously. They're going to live that amazing life with me and Vijay. They're going to live that amazing life with me and Vijay. My seven. My seven team. Yeah. Okay, so my secretary is I'll pay a million dollars. Million dollar a year salary for the for, for the four years of Zanus. So once production is over, the secretaries do no, no longer stop receiving a salary. So you get your one million for the first year, the second year, the third year, and the fourth year, which is production. And after that, you get your one fifty thousand dollar pulse wing bonus, and you don't get a salary after that. And you get money off the royalties when the movie. So I don't know, six, eight months later, after the film is completed, the secretaries get their royalty check. So they have to wait eight months for the royalty check. Because I paid them a million dollars again and a one fifty K bonus, they said I have more than enough money to last for eight months. Zara. I have more enough money to last for eight months, obviously. So, so, so my team gets, my team pretty much gets eight months off after uh, production. But I'll have them watch post production. Hey, you guys are off, but it doesn't hurt to to, 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 to come in and, and watch some of post production to keep tabs on things. Slack work, obviously. Is there? And you give them five million dollars of the of the, of the profits. 
And the other three, the legal advisor, accountant, head of production, they get the rich $2 million yearly salary. For year one, year two, year three, year four. So $8 million, and you pay them a bonus. 500 k bonus. Secretaries, you pay them a 300 k bonus. That's good for them. That way they can buy, they can put a down payment on their house right away, obviously. You give them $11 million in the profits. But once I release them, the movie for purchase on Amazon, obviously. Link to Amazon, my website, obviously. And me and Vijay receive our first check. The secretaries and all of them get their, get, get, get their checks. A month goes by, me and Vijay get, what, I don't know, we get like 30 million bucks. We get 30 million bucks, obviously, for the, for the movie. 40 million dollars off the movie. 40 million dollars off the movie. I'll call up my accountant and we'll go to the office, to my boardroom, and what? And 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 what the secretaries uh that the secretaries account legal advisor high production my two sort they get their money. You ever see the payment? You ever see five point five million dollars? You ever see eleven million dollars? Holy shit! I made eleven million accounts. Like holy shit! Eleven million dollars. Like yeah, you you eleven million dollars. Like holy shit! I thank you. It's a lot of money. Yeah, it's like seven million dollars in your bank. It's a lot of money. He's all happy. I'm saying. You have received one hundred million dollars. Yeah, John gets one hundred million. Holy shit, John's lucky. Now he might he might resent John. Fuck John's lucky. Can I get can I get a hundred million dollars? Iron. That's a joke. I'm like, no, you're not worth that. I'm not gonna give you one hundred million dollars to rip me off. Yeah, I have eleven million dollars is more enough money. Like I can. This is enough to last me for like twenty years. Yeah, like almost seven million in your bank, man. After taxes, a lot of money. You already made your rich yearly salary. Now you and you and you now you're making your nice eleven million dollars. A good deal for you. And Dave gets his like $37 million bonus. $37 million uh, royalty, uh, royalty check. They all get the confirmation in their, in their email. You have received your money, you know what I'm saying? Holy shit, I made a lot of money. Yeah, they're all happy, obviously. So if you give a piece of royalties, you'll keep your team happy. If you don't, they could be a bit angry and resent you a little bit. So i But even though I'm giving them a piece of royalties, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to let these guys rip me off. If John wants like two hundred, three hundred dollars in rolls, I'm like John. I'm not gonna pay you that. You're fucking crazy. I am CEO of your company. Yes, that's why I'm giving you one hundred million. But I'm not give, paying you any more than that. You ripped me off. Same goes for Peter Rice, James Gunn, whoever I hire. If they want more money, I'm like guys. I'm not. I'm not gonna give you like three hundred million dollars in profits. You're fucking crazy. You're not worth that. Fifty-three million dollars around there is enough. You don't make this in Hollywood. That's good. That's a good paycheck. You're just being greedy. So I'm saying, because I might hire James Gunn and perhaps Peter Rice. That's my two shows instead of John Farrell and Dave Filoni. So there. But Dave Filoni is very talented. But he doesn't have much life action experience. He's an animated guy, right? Animation guy. But he has experience writing episodes for Mandalorian. So he's, he's, he's very talented, Dave Filoni. He's a talented dude. And John Farrell is talented too. But James Gunn's very talented too, so there, as well as Peter Rice. Peter Rice is, has good producing experience, obviously. He worked for, for Disney. Yeah, he was up there in the Disney company. Disney, the Disney company, yeah. A lot of good cats out there. There. Yeah, you guys will see the Seventeenth Lavish Life in the documentary. You're gonna see the seven. You're gonna see the seven teams lavish life in the documentary. Yeah, the accountant, the legal advisor, and production. They own like a four million dollar house, a beautiful like four or five million dollar house. They own. They buy a nice like beautiful four million dollar house, four point five million dollar house in Vancouver. A beautiful house. You see their nice cars, their Benz, their, their their Porsche, all that nice stuff. Yeah, you see John Farrell's. You know what I'm saying? Or Jay or James Gunn. You, know what I'm you see their nice fucking house. Yeah, they're a seven, five, seven, eight million dollar house, whatever it is. Yeah. They only owns like a four million dollar house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They all have nice houses. I told you, even though their houses will be really nice, it's nothing compared to me and VG's three hundred dollar condo. Yeah, even though their houses are really nice, when you see I when 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 you see I and VG's condo, it looks so much more high tech than their fucking houses, yeah. Because I put like three hundred million also was my condo. Because I'm mean, Vijay is so rich. Yeah, it's actually funny. Yeah. Is 
It's actually funny, I don't know. Like, I mean, yeah. It's actually funny. It's very funny, yeah. That's why what? That's why they're going to be living that dream life. Yeah, man. The seven team are the luckiest out of everyone. Even though the Hollywood actors are lucky, they're not as lucky as the seven team. The seven team are going to be living that life with me for like 20 years of their life, man. 20 years, yeah. I'm going to save them for a good 20, 20, 21, 22 years. And after the 22 years, after phase one, the journey ends for my seven team. The chances are my secretaries will be in their like 40s, mid 40s, perhaps even early 50s. My secretaries will be. Perhaps maybe late 40s. My, my other guys will probably be in their maybe their 50s or late 40s, early 50s. But after 20 years or like 70, I'm going to retire them. I think you're going to give them a retirement package? No. Because I'm not giving them a piece of the profits, I'm not giving them a retirement package. I don't need to. So I'm saying. Oh, but, my, but my photographers and all of them, I'll give them a retirement package. Like a $200,000, $150,000 retirement package. The way they have a good retirement. The photographers and all of them. Obviously. The photographers and all of them are lucky too, because they're they're gonna be they're they're gonna be I'm gonna be signing all those guys, but they're not as lucky as the seventeen. See what I'm saying? The seventeen we're gonna work with my company are the lucky men, and that's why when I hire them, they're gonna be jumping for joy. Oh my god, I am so we're so lucky. We're we're the lucky chosen state working for Ivan, and they're 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 gonna experience that success, wealth. They're all gonna be they're all gonna become rich. I don't know, the secretaries who I hire, they, they make like two, three hundred thousand dollars in the Hollywood, and all of a sudden they become rich working for me. I made them rich, obviously. They're all, they're all now millionaires. They're multi-millionaires now. They're celebrities. The account legal advisor and all of them are, they all become, they all become low, they become rich. Dave Filoni becomes, all of a sudden you see him, he becomes much richer. He's only worth a couple million bucks, Dave Filoni, like four, six, seven million bucks he's worth. And then working for me, he made like 100, well, after the 20 years, he's now worth like a hundred million dollars. Hundred twenty million dollars. He's wealthy now, yeah, because he made a lot of money for my movies. And John Favreau was already rich, obviously. But he'll be he'll become richer after the twenty years. He's worth like four hundred, five hundred million dollars after the twenty years. So I'm saying, after the twenty years, the journey ends. I know they're gonna beg, oh, can I continue working with my no man? You guys are old. I was nice enough to save you for twenty years. The journey ends. I'm gonna hire a new team. I want to be in that Spider-Man trilogy. I know you do, but you're not. You're too old now. You're done. Retire and enjoy the millions that you made with your family. I know you don't want to be left behind, but I was not supposed to save you 20 years. The journey is over now. You're going to be left behind. You already deserve. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Who's there? I mean, yeah, well, once I give the secretaries a call, the two secretaries a call who I hire, you're going to see those two secretaries joining for joy. Oh, my God. You know, I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait to work for you guys. I'm saying, yeah, they're all going to be happy. Because they're, they're lucky, man. They're living. The seven team are going to be living that life with me. They're going to be living the, the, the celeb life with me. They're say they're working for my company. They see me and Regis like every day pretty much. They're a part of all the parties, they're a part of all the takeouts, they're a part of the documentary, they're a part of the, the trends. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they get flown on my private jet, they're, 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 they see me immediately like every day, they're saved. And they're living that dream life, they're the lucky chosen one, man. Yeah, man. That's why, you, you, that's why they're going to work so hard for me, because they don't want to get fired. The secretaries know they're never going to make a million dollars anywhere else. 
They know they're never going to make five point five million dollars in royalties for the secretary. They're, not, they're never going to make this kind of money anywhere else. That's why they're going to work hard. The other three know they're never going to make that money anywhere else. That's why they're going to work really hard for me. The Ralph Robin if only know they're not going to make that kind of money in Hollywood. That's why they're all going to work really hard for me. James Gunn, Ryan Coogler, Ryan Johnson, whoever I hire, James Gunn, Peter Reiser, all going to work hard for me. Because they know they're not going to make this money in Hollywood and they're lucky chosen saved. They don't want to be left behind. They'd rather work for me than Hollywood. My company is better than Hollywood. Sky Sports Entertainment is better than the Hollywood company. It's better than Disney. It's better than Warner Bros. It's better than Sony Columbia's Pictures. It's better than Universal. It's better than Paramount. It's better than Netflix. It's better than Lionsgate. It's better than all these big, big or bigger indie film corporations in Hollywood. Yeah, I felt top notch my Sky Sports Columbia's. Yeah, man. Anyways, I'm tired, guys. I, I talked for a good, I don't know, 54 minutes. I'm going to shut this camera off here, upload this video, take my shower, and go to the store, get my beer, and smoke, and enjoy the video with you guys. Adam here, I'm signing up. Peace.